Okay, welcome to Marvelous Designer. So, um, <laughs> hang on. One second. All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. We're here in Marvelous Designer. Now, if you watched any of my previous videos on body making and clothes making, I mean, on clothes making when we use Marvelous Designer, you can pretty much skip this Marvelous Designer segment of the video because it's exactly the same thing. But if you're new to Marvelous Designer and you want to start designing marvelously, then welcome. This is the class for you. <laughs> Alright, so when you open up Marvelous Designer for the first time, it may look like this. Well, at least Marvelous Designer 2 it does. Um, it's going to have you the avatar selection window, a lady here wearing a dress, and all of this confusing junk. We don't need pretty much all any of it. So, just click the little X button and get rid of it. And we're going to get rid of this... Uh, garment in our pattern window so you just want to press new and we don't need this avatar because really clothes on her are not going to fit our avatar so we need to import our avatar that we prepped up in the last video so to do that we're just going to go to file open avatar and we're going to navigate to our project folder the one we created before so bbl2 and we're going to select our obj that we exported now, it's going to ask you what scale do you want to put your avatar in, and we're just going to press this little M key, M box right here, and then hit OK. And then wait for a second, and then there you see we have our uh, BBL body. Fun fact, I found out that the BBL actually stands for Brazilian Butt Lift, which is hilarious it's because the store... Um, is a clinic and I was like why is the store a clinic now that you know it's a medical procedure it makes it a little more hilarious which is kind of why I agreed to do it because it made me laugh all right um goofiness aside um we're now here and we can start getting into the meat and potatoes and making clothes first but first we have to enable the ability to do so for some reason, when Marvelous Designer 2 opens up for some people, um, it's missing the pattern making tools. So if you go over here to the 2D pattern making side of your screen and you only see these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 buttons, you need to right click on this gray area here and check this box that says 2D pattern toolbar. And this will give you all the tools you need to start making clothes. To make clothes in Marvelous Designer, you basically create a 2D pattern over here and then sew it in the 3D, arrange it and sew it together in the 3D window and then um, start the simulation and then bada boom, you have clothes. If you're good at pattern making in real life, um, you can apply those patterns to Marvelous Designer because Marvelous Designer was originally a tool for tailors to uh, make simulations of patterns but on a 3D space before having to create them in real life and waste materials. It was kind of like the middleman, so like cutting out the middleman, do your patterns, simulate them, and then make adjustments, and then you could print them out and then, you know, save materials. But we 3D people saw the potential of it and started using it for clothes, and then, well, that's how Marvel's Designer became what it is now. But it still has this core value of being a pattern, um, a pattern simulator. So if you have closed patterns or pictures of patterns that you can put in here, or you're good at pattern making, you can make all those real life garments um, in a 3D space with no problem. But if you're like me and you don't understand how patterns work, Marvel Designer compensates for that too, where you can just pretty much draw the shape of a pattern and create a garment that way too. So if you have pattern making school skills, great. If you don't, you can just um, draw the picture of it, which is pretty much what we'll be doing in this one. Now to draw it, we'll have to use the pattern making tools that are all up here for us to use. I'm going to go through them and show you what they do and um, then show you how to use them. <laughs> okay, so the first pattern making tool you're going to be using the most is the polygon tool. So you click this right here. And this one will allow you to create any kind of shape you want as long as you return back to the first dot. Now, it doesn't show up afterwards because you have to turn on the sync button in order for it to show up on, you know, on the 3D side. So if you notice that you're drawing all crazy out the wazoo and then nothing's showing up, it's probably not the sync, not synced. 
Um, also, if you turn the sink off, you'll notice that the patterns turn red. Um, that's just telling you that nothing is activated right now. So even if we draw some more patterns, you'll see nothing happens. Turn it on, they turn blue, and that means that they're active. So let's get rid of this. Next to our Create a Polygon tool is our Create Rectangle or our Create Square button. Oh. <laughs> and this allows you to easily create squares without having to try to create them with the Create Polygon tool, which is, again, humanly impossible. <laughs> um, next to that one is our Create a Circle, which lets you create easy circles. Um, again, without having to try to do them with the Create Polygon tool. So you can easily make circle patterns if you want. So uh, next to those patterns are internal pattern tools. Now internal patterns kind of work just like the regular pattern tool, which I guess we would call them external patterns for the sake of uh, not confusing you. So let's say we create an internal but there, okay. let's say we create an internal. Jeez, I am not here. I need some coffee. <laughs> if only I had some coffee. It's not a. <laughs> all right, all right. Seriously, seriously. Okay, so let's create an external um, rectangle here, and I'm gonna show you how the internal tools work with that here. I'm just gonna pin it up so that it doesn't fall to the ground while I'm working on it. Alright, so internal tools work kind of like, internal patterns work kind of like external ones, except for they work inside of patterns. They allow you to create any kind of shape that you want, except for you don't have to return back to the first dot. You could just double click and it will create the internal pattern. These internal lines, if you will, or internal patterns can be used for a number of things. They can be used as um, folds, used to create folds in garments. I'm going to turn that on real quick. So we can use them as folds. Um, you can even use it as elastic. <clears throat> elastic if you want it to in your garment um, and you can even use them to create holes in your garment Let's see um, these are the internal circle and the internal square by the way and they can be used to create holes or things like that Another thing that they can be used as is another seam line or attachment line for your garment. So let's create a secondary um, external pattern, right? Oops. Rearrange pattern here. And I'm going to give it some color so we can see how it works. Sorry for the noise in the background. My cats found a marble and they're playing with it. So we're going to make this red so you can see. Ooh, that's a harsh red. Okay. So we have our secondary pattern here. And let's say we wanted to sew this to this pattern. We can just create an internal line and then attach it to it. And you see we can do that with internal lines. Now that isn't to say we couldn't sew it to up here if we wanted to. But let's just say you wanted ruffles onto your dress. You would just create a bunch of internal lines. And then sew your patterns, you know, your fabric onto those ruffles that you created. Those are uh, tear things that you created. That makes sense? Sorry. <laughs> I need, I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm trying to work on awake juice. It's not really working out. So the rest of the tools over here are ones you're going to be using as well. These are your pattern manipulating tools. This is your edit pattern, which allows you to you know, grab dots and edit your patterns to transform them. Next to it is your pretty much select all. So you can grab the black one and you can manipulate multiple patterns at once. Rotate them around if you want to. Next to it is our add curve, which allows you to add beautiful curves to your pattern. It's great for armholes or neck holes and stuff like that. 
next to that one is our edit curvature button which allows you to edit your curves hang on i got a question from discord it's ever the busy girl whoops <laughs> of course you can't edit it too much or else you'll get an error and next to that one is our edit point so if you want to fine tune your pattern and add more to it you can just go like this like that add a dot and manipulate it some more the next tools we want to talk about is the sewing tools but I'm gonna save that for when we actually start sewing because it's a lot easier to show you it rather than tell you this is what we do and have you remember what it does but that's our next video because we're already at our 10 minute mark and I'd rather not dive into how to make a t-shirt and try to cram it into five minutes so I'll see you guys in our next video where we actually begin the fun stuff and making our t-shirt and our pair of pants so see you in that video and uh, yeah, have fun poking around. <laughs>